Next up, we want to talk about the different parts of a neuron, starting with dendrites. Dendrites are going to be these very short branching projections that are found over here on the neuron. Next up will be the axon. The axon is going to be a single long extension, long extension um, through which the majority, well, through which this, the information is going to need to be passed. And then finally, the, sen the cell body. This is going to be the enlarged uh, central region found right over here. We'll talk a little bit about each one of these, but the dendrites are going to be responsible for receiving cells signals from other cells. Ultimately, they're going to be um, our, our receivers, our antennas. They're going to pick up information, pass it along the cell body to the axon, where it'll be uh, then sent on to the next cell. So the dendrites will receive signals from other cells, carry the information towards the cell body of a neuron. The axon is going to carry information away from the cell body, either to another neuron or to an effector, either a muscle or a gland. The cell body is going to make up the bulk of the cell volume-wise. This is where we're going to house our nucleus and all of the organelles that a cell needs to maintain its normal function. Its function is to maintain that neuron. Here again is a great diagram. Spend a little bit of time with figure 7.2. Um, by the end of this chapter, you should be able to cover up each one of these boxes of information and talk yourself through the shape and structure of the neuron. Here is another um, figure that also contains an image of the neuron. We have the dendri dendrites, a nucleus, axon, um, but one other thing that I would like to point out is that um, that this axon is going to be protected by or covered with what is known as a myelin sheath. In the peripheral nervous system, the Schwann cells, it's a very particular type of glial cells, are going to form this myelin sheath. So this wrapped around the outside is actually another type of cell. Gaps between adjacent Schwann cells are called nodes of Ranvier. These messages are going to travel faster as they jump from one node of Ranvier to the next in a type of transmission called saltatory conduction. In other words, the message can be travel a lot faster down this cell if it only has to, if it jumps from one node to the next instead of uh, transferring all the way through the bulk of the axon. Uh, multiple, multiple sclerosis um, is a disease in which the myelin sheaths in the brain and spinal cord are going to be progressively destroyed. So if you've heard of the disorder, the homeostatic imbalance, MS, what's being targeted is this myelin sheath right here. Results from the destruction of the myelin sheath that surround the axons in the central nervous system. This can result in scars or sclerosis that are going to interfere with the transmission of nerve impulses. It can result in paralysis, the loss of sensation, or the loss of vision. But what's being attacked is the sheath right here and the ability to actually conduct um, nerve impulses down the length of the cell from one neuron to the next.